whatever time, and that means it's picnic season, so we're level, leveling up our game with some chic creativity. Yeah, Sherry Zatman from Perfectly Planned by Sherry is going to show us how it is done. And can I say, Sherry, you always wow us with mm -hmm. your displays. This in particular is reaching new heights. <laughs> it really is. Purple is now my favorite color. <laughs> I don't well, know. You yeah. know what? I was inspired. I went to see the color purple when it was here. And oh. I, I was inspired and I thought I wanted to do a whole purple display. Just I really. like mm -hmm. purple. Purple and gold were my high school colors back at Ford City High School. <laughs> Shout out if anyone remembers Ford City. <laughs> All right, get us started. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so. Fresh flowers can be a little tough, especially if they're not in water in the summertime because yeah. they don't hold up great. So what I did uh, today is I use crepe paper flowers for most of the decor. This is a canopy. So it's actually, it's a beautiful decorative piece, but if I um, made it larger, it could actually canopy over us, provide decor, but also some covering. So if we were outside, right. we mm -hmm. could kind of get Do a little shade. shade. What's it, what's holding it up? There's like a pole or a wire so, in there? Yeah, so that's the structure. It's um, ex an expandable pole. I use it a lot for all different kinds of projects. Okay. But it, it looks so real. Like I would never assume that these weren't real flowers. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, good job there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, and if we, um, we're gonna move on here. So I love this idea because, you know, you take a little bit of champagne on your picnic, then it gets dark and we pop the light <gasps> on. So can you see oh, that? Cute. So, oh, cute. <laughs> so these actually come, you can actually buy those lights. They go right in um, to where you remove the cork and you put it right on top. And I just added a little bit of decorative um, touches to it, you know, to go with what we have today. Mm -hmm. And then also I wanted to color coordinate the champagne. So I added rock candy sticks in purple, uh, you know, just because we- You are so together. Together. You are, you, you are. You really <laughs> truly inspire the rest of us. All right, talk to us about the, the middle here, because this is really the picnic setup. This is the picnic setup. So of course, when you're having a picnic, you want to lay out pillows. You know, you don't usually have chairs. So you can be on the ground. This is what that represents. And this is a really pretty centerpiece idea. You can use it for a picnic. You can use it for, you know, anything, spring, summer. Um, if you have an old basket lying around mm -hmm. with a handle, which you know maybe you do after Easter or you know something else, um, so I just took that. I actually these are farmer farmers market flowers, fresh flowers, wild flowers. Got a bundle and um, I cut them and I used. Uh, I know it's hard to see, but I used a plastic container oh, yeah. and yeah. wet floral foam and then cut them and just pieced them together. So one big bundle it was. Uh, actually a very inexpensive way to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it That's looks great. Perfect. Now tell us about this right here. I, I love these little muffins on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, we are gonna actually come back to this because mm -hmm. in our second segment, okay. we are gonna okay. learn how to this make that. This is what we're gonna this make. Okay. This okay. is a dessert and food swing. So, mm. I mean, you know, why just display food when you can put it on a swing? Yeah, this yes. is just fun. All right, so we'll get back to that. We have to talk about this. This is just <laughs> unbelievable. You can't just help but to like, I know, like that, it. yeah. And if you were outside, imagine the wind and it was yeah. moving around. So this is actually a smaller version of a large umbrella or parasol covering. So it is both decorative and you can use these two pieces together, of course. And if it's done larger, you know, it would shade you if it was very sunny and hot. Yeah. This is beautiful. I, if I saw a picnic like this happening, I, I, would, I would just go join. Yeah, the I would, yes, I'd be <laughs> like, whatever they're doing, that's going to be fun. I'm in. <laughs> All right, we are not done talking picnics just yet. Yeah, after the break, Sherry's going to show us how to make this food display so you can swing into your hosting your next picnic. Stay tuned to see how we do it.